Hi, this is Hope Kaya of SantaFeWebDesign.net and this is how to use Site Restore and Backup to back up your website, uh, especially if you have a Joomla website where you don't have a backup on your hard drive or if you have a WordPress site or something that it, you have no backup on your hard drive, um, go ahead and when you make changes, you're going to want to back up your site and your database. The database is the text that changes that you've made and if you've added new pages with text or added new pages or added any new text um, or edited text, your database has just changed. So you're going to want to update back up that and you're going to want to back up your files. So we work with Bluehost, which currently, as of June 4th, 2011, which is today, um, they use Site Backup and Restore. So once you've logged into the control panel, um, let me scroll down, and you look at Files, you'll see Site Backup and Restore. Of course, things change, so hopefully by the time you watch this video, it will be the same or better. So you can do the free version or the paid version, and I'm looking at the free version right now. Um, so you could do a full cPanel backup of your entire website, including your databases, your forwarders, and your aliases. Let's click on that. Now, you'll see that there's one that was done yesterday. Hmm, what if I had just made changes today? Well, I'll tell you the truth, as of today with Bluehost and this program, the best thing is to wait a day in terms of making life easy. Put something in your calendar for a day after you made your changes and then come here and see if that day is visible. And, um, and you may even wait two days to make sure you're not looking at a backup from an hour before you made your changes. So you might want to set your calendar for two days after you've made your changes and then come in and click on this system, daily system backup for your most current one. You get, when you click on it, you get this pop-up and you can choose between tar or zip. If you're on a PC, you may want zip. Uh, my Mac opens tar and I'm going to click on start archiving. Now I can click here to download. So you have to wait for that click here to download to show up. And then you click to download. And now my system is set up so that I get a pop-up window prompting me, where do I want? You know, I'm going to save this file, so I say OK. And then I get to choose where I save it. So I'm going to say my desktop and click Save. And then I'll move it to the appropriate place later, which is a really good idea. So I'm going to go to my little Downloads window. I did that by choosing Window in my browser and then it said Downloads, and I could select Downloads. Um, you know, so there should be the word Window at the top of your screen. Anyway, once you've, once you've opened that little window, you'll see that, oh, this is process of, of backing up this file. Okay, so it's backing it up. I'm going to stop it because I don't actually need it. So I'm hitting this little Cancel button. But when it's done, it'll just look like this without the progress bar, and you'll know that it's done. Okay, So then you'll have a backup. Very handy. Very important. Now, you might say, well, it looks like I'm going to click away from this pop-up window so that it goes away. It, you'll say, well, it looks like they have the backups. Why do I need to download it? And I actually called them, and I'm sure this is true of all the hosts. Um, they'll say, well, you don't have to. but if you want to be 100% sure, in case you know the whole, the server gets hacked, you know these system um, these these backups are are stored on your in your folder on their server. So if you get hacked or if something goes wrong, um, these could go away, right? So you definitely want to do this after you've made if you've only made a few little text changes, no big deal, right? But if you've done some significant changes, do this. Do this step two days later. Now, there are other options. Let's say all you've changed is text. Okay, then that would be showing up in your databases. So you could come back two days later and click on your all your databases, find the previous, you know, find one from the two days before, and click on that and start archiving. 
and then wait for it to say click here to download and this downloads really fast so you're not going to have to wait very long at all like I'll download this it's done it's done already see so if you just made text file text changes um, I would I would definitely just you know you already have a backup of your entire site because you've done this before and then you've made text changes or here back up your entire site if you've never done this before and then you'll have it and then if you're just making text changes all you have to do is back up the database so and once again to do that you go to site backup and restore you go down to my databases and just say all that's the simplest way and then click on the, the one from two days earlier and start archiving okay um, there are ways to get instant uh, downloads of your of your files but not your database so let's say you've just just uploaded a ton of uh, images right you even for free you can go to website files scroll down and instantly back up all your current files but once again if you've changed any text that will, or added new pages uh, this will not help you it's just like if you've um, if you've uploaded a bunch of images yeah if even if you've uploaded a bunch of images you really should be backing up your database because this is only going to give you the, the changes to the files on the server uh, as opposed to the database which whenever you add text or for that matter images to a page the, the, the database changes so this would only help you with the files themselves the images would all be backed up basically so you know they said that by the time you look at this video I'm hoping that they will have an instant backup of your of your database available um, because they said that they were working on that when I called them so at this point really all you can do um, to be sure that you're backing up the, your latest work is to wait two days. Um, there is another way to back up your database using PHP MyAdmin. I'm going to do another video for that. But um, uh, suffice to say, just to direct you there, because I'm not sure when I'm doing that video, I went back to my cPanel, I scroll down, and I go to Databases, PHP my admin now you have to be able to log into this and you should you might you have to know your username and password in order to log in and um, and do this part uh, so we don't have that right now but you can look later for a video on that in the meantime enjoy very much Joomla or WordPress or whatever you're doing on Bluehost that needs to be backed up and by all means back up your site and enjoy yourself. Take care. Thanks. Again, this is Hope Kaya of SantaFeWebDesign.net.